Hello and welcome back to the most amazing channel on the internet. I'm your host Rebecca Felgate, and today we're talking about the top 10 scary things found frozen in ice. Ice has the ability to preserve things in time, which means when they're found, it's hard to know exactly how long they've been under there. Also, what circumstances they were left in, it makes it even more eerie. I actually went ice fishing with our former channel producer Haley recently, and it was awesome. I'd never been before, although I do have to say there's a phenomenon when the ice cracks when it expands, which is a good thing because it means it's getting thicker, but either way, it makes the most terrifying sound. Here's a couple of pictures from our adventure. Yay, ice fishing! I didn't find anything weird in the ice though, so. Before I tell you what scary things are going on beneath the ice, do let me tell you about our brand new channel in the network. It's called Top 10 Beyond the Screen, and it's all about Netflix, movies, all of that cool stuff, and we have a new host called Jocelyn. So head on over there and give her some love. Also, don't give her all the love, save some for us. I want you to like this video and share it with a friend. And also check out the links in our description box to the Instagrams of the people that went into making this video and our most amazing Instagram too, you'll love it! Also do stick around to the end of the video where I'm going to be reading out some of your comments from a previous one. Ok, let's do this! Ice, ice, baby. Starting off dramatic, coming in at number 10, we have the ice finger of death. An underwater phenomenon was caught on camera in Antarctica and dubbed the ice finger of death. Classic Daily Express headline if ever I read one. Footage of the phenomenon was featured on my boy David Attenborough's Frozen Planet documentary series, one of my favourite series out there. It seems a stalactite forms when a pocket of ocean freezes, and when it touches the sea floor, it freezes and kills everything around it, hence its name. It's kind of like slow and dramatic underwater lightning of death. Coming in at number 9, we have the UFO landing spot. Or is it? What is this weird pattern here? It seems that two friends came across this weird formation in a frozen lake in Utah. Like honestly, I'm baffled and creeped out and feel a little bit sick. It looks a bit like frog spawn, which is my absolutely least favourite thing of all time. Are they alien eggs? It seems that actually they're tiny holes in the ice with something visible underneath, and this really, really tugs at my trypophobia and makes me feel not good. Not good indeed. I don't like tiny holes. Take them away. Coming in at number 8, we have thousands of fish frozen in time. An entire shoal of fish were found frozen on the coast of a Norwegian island, Leuven, in 2014. Now we're literally talking thousands if not hundreds of thousands of fish here, just frozen. The photographer discovered the group of fish when they were out walking their dog. Now you can see the dog in the picture looking pretty excited about the whole thing. I would be if I was a dog, like fish everywhere. The ice was so thick it could be walked on, but it made for like a really weird fish frozen path. It was thought that the fish had been frozen for a week or more, and this isn't the only time this kind of thing has happened either. In 2017, a hiker came across a wall of frozen fish in a lake in South Dakota. They look like they're mid swim. To me, this is such a haunting image, I'd freak out if I saw it in real life. A scary thing found frozen in ice cream up next at number 7. We have a catheter. Ugh. I love ice cream, but this really puts a spanner or a catheter in the works. How honestly grim. Imagine tucking into your lovely bowl of chocolate double caramel and pralines when you come across something hard and unwelcome. Then imagine finding out it's a catheter, a medical device used to drain urine from your bladder. Ugh. In 2017, a family from the Three Rivers area of Quebec found a catheter in their container of Coat Cook ice cream. Luckily, they were not on the receiving end of any infections. They sought medical advice and they were okay. The ice cream company and provincial authorities were working together to discover how the instrument made its way to the gourmet ice cream tub. Alright, speaking of ice cream, we have the ice cream killer and her victims at number 6. Estebales Caranaza murdered two men and hid them in a freezer below an ice cream shop, earning her the nickname the ice cream killer. She owned a popular ice cream parlor in Vienna where she committed her crimes. She killed her husband and then her next lover with a gun and then she chopped up their bodies with a chainsaw. Why? Because they didn't impregnate her. She then stored their body parts in ice cream tubs and hid them in industrial freezers next to the real ice cream tub she used to serve her customers with. However, when her basement was renovated, the parts were found frozen in storage. Honestly, what a grim discovery. Think you're sneaking in some Neapolitan ice cream and actually get like a hand? No, no. Coming into number 5, we have Skeleton Lake. 
the mystery of Skeleton Lake has yet to be resolved. Up in the Himalayas in northern India there is a lake that is frozen for most of the year round, but in the summer months it starts to thaw. The lake got its name when a ranger was in the area and noticed piles of bones protruding from the melting ice. On further investigation there were hundreds of bones. A team came to investigate the bodies and discovered over 300 of them. They all died due to blunt force trauma to the head and dated back to 850 AD. It's possible that they might have been sacrificed in some way. Coming into number 4 we have Otzi the Iceman. In September 1991 two German tourists were hiking in the Otzel Alps near the Austrian and Italian border. As they were walking on a glacier they found a body partially sticking out of the ice. Helmut and Erika Simon thought the body was of a more recently deceased hiker, but when authorities came to extract the body they discovered it was actually 5,300 years old. It's definitely scary to find a corpse but how fascinating that they found one of the oldest known bodies to date. Incredibly, scientists were able to discover that he was around 45 years old and had died from an arrow to the shoulder leading him to bleed to death. They were also able to determine it was spring when he died, they'd eaten chamos and deer meat with herb bread and fruits just two hours before his death. Something else unearthed with Otzi, something silent and unseen but seemingly very deadly. At number 3 we have Otzi's curse. It seems that after Otzi was pulled from the ice, seven people closely associated with his discovery and retrieval died untimely deaths. Helmut Simon who discovered the body went missing 13 years after the mummy's discovery in the very same mountain range. After 8 days his body was found. He had actually fallen 300 feet to his death. One of the team members who found Simon's body also died just hours after his funeral. Now the list goes on. In 1992, Rainier Hen, who placed Otzi's remains in a body bag, died in a car crash on the way to giving a speech about the Iceman. In 1993, Kurt Fritz, who helped transport the remains, died in an avalanche. Rainer Holtz, a man who made a film about the Iceman, died shortly after making it from a brain tumour. Tom Loy, a researcher who worked on Otzi's clothing, died of a blood disease, and Conrad Brad Spindler, a leading expert on the Iceman, died after joking about the curse. He said, I think it's a load of rubbish, it's all media hype, the next thing you'll be saying is I'll be next. And he was. Coming in at number 2 we have zombie diseases. Coughs and sneezes spread diseases, that's what my nana used to say. I think we'll all start saying diseases under ice will no longer play nice. Why? Well as global warming melts previously impenetrable ice, ancient viruses that have laid dormant thousands and thousands of years with no modern cures are being unearthed. In 2016 a 12 year old boy died and thousands of reindeers were culled after being exposed to thawed anthrax. Honestly, locals were baffled, they had no idea where it came from. But they realised it was the melting permafrost exposing them to nasties. Now this can happen across the world and scientists are calling them zombie diseases because, you know, they're back from the dead. While anthrax was an issue, it wasn't the worst thing to come about as we know what it is and we know how to treat it. But scientists are more worried about the Pandora's box of disease still to come as the ice continues to melt. This makes my heart so sad at number 1 we have the victims of Rainbow Valley. This is actually really awful so brace yourself. Mount Everest is the tallest mountain in the world. Since Edmund Hillary became the first human to summit in 1953, 4,000 people have followed, but a lot of people simply don't make it back down. It is thought that 300 people have died trying to summit the mountain. Because of the treacherous conditions, it's often too risky to rescue their bodies and most have simply been left where they are. Some have even become landmarks like Green Boots. He was originally Teswang Paljor, an Indian climber who died in 1996. The ascent to the top of Everest is often called Rainbow Valley or Rainbow Ridge, it's in the death zone. Now it's given that name because of the visible brightly coloured clothing of the dead. How awful. They're just there, laying frozen in the ice like probably forever. So guys that was the top 10 scary things found frozen in ice. Which of these things scared you the most? I think in real terms walking across fish in a frozen wave really would freak me out. But of course seeing any kind of human remains would be truly truly life alteringly awful. Also ancient diseases, don't feel good about those either. Ugh, actually honestly now after, uh, after this video I feel very not great about ice. I need this winter to be over too. Winter if you're listening, out of here. 
Winter's always watching the channel. What are you saying, Rebecca? Okay, guys, so do leave me a comment to let me know what you thought to this video. Also, do leave me a comment letting me know whether you like Top 10 Beyond the screen. I hope you did. Before I leave, I just want to read out some comments from one of my most recent videos. Now, this was all about scary things found in the desert. Minded Bike said, do Top 10 scariest things found in schools? I think that's a great idea. I think we should do it. I think all of you will watch it. He also said, P.S. I watch like five to ten of your scary videos daily. Keep up the good work. Thank you very much. YouTuber's Taika Muna said, did they find a Minecraft desert temple? Maybe they did. I don't know. I really love it when fellow YouTubers comment on our videos. It's like, little oh, community. But we're all a community and I like it when all of you comment, so. Finally, Kayla Christian said, I ship Rebecca and Danny. Anyone else? Funny you should say that. I don't know. Do you? Let me know. Okay, guys, that is the end of the video. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up, share it with a friend, do all of those good things. Check out the links in the description box for many on Instagram. Just do stuff and say hi. And don't forget to go on over to Top 10 Beyond the Screen. I'll love you if you do. I'm your host, Rebecca Felgate, and I'll see you lovely people next time. Bye.